Hello, my name is John Warner from TG Fashions, used to be known as Glamour Boutique, and I'm going to show you today how to lace a corset on your own. First of all, if you look at the structure of the corset, in the back you'll see that we have, uh, to find the bottom, we find the, use the tabs here, that brings us to the bottom, it's going to be on the bottom of the body, and there's the back. As you can see, we have these two sets of rabbit ears that go out. And if you'll notice that one of the sets of the rabbit ears works itself down, and one set works itself up. These are the controllers. These are what will pull in and bring the waist in. And when the waist is pulled in, then the steel boning here will bend in and give a person an hourglass figure. So the first thing we have to do, this is a 32 inch corset. The first thing we need to do is take the 32 inch corset and take the length off of the rabbit ears and distribute it down by using, going down each X, each X, each X, until we can open up. And then we'll work our way up, X1, X2, and X3. So now we've, we've opened it up and there's no longer a 32 inch corset. It is now a 38 to 40 inch corset. And the next thing we're going to do, looking again where the bottom is with the tabs, we're going to turn that around, pull this in, hook either the bottom or the top, and then swing it in, get them all hooked. Okay. Position it generally here, where it'll go into our our uh, hips, and then we reach back and find the cords, and then we have to figure feel which cord is going to the top, part of the cord going to the top, and which part is going to the bottom. And then what we're going to do then is work the top and the top together, or both of them. You can also do both of them to get started. And then figure the bottom and the bottom, and then the top and top, and bottom and bottom, and then all of them. And then we're going to feel I'm going to do the top just one more time because I can feel I can get a little bit more there. Okay, I'm going to do the bottom one more. And then the next thing we do to get rid of this and also get one more is crisscross it in the back and then pull. And then we can either tie it in the back or just simply wrap it around. And we want to get rid of a little of the length. A couple of ways we can do it. This is one of them. I just get rid of the length by feeding it over and over again. And then, simple shoestring, knot, and we're all set. So we've gone from a male figure to a female figure. Okay? Okay? Now, getting out, it's very important getting out. When it's time to get out, there's a huge amount of pressure on these busts here, the four, on the four hooks. If I started taking the top one off, all that pressure goes to three. If I go down to the bottom two, all the pressure's on the bottom two. And when I get to the last one, all the pressure's on the and a very bottom. And it's very possible, as strong as the corset is, to break the corset. So what we need to do is take the pressure off. So we go back to our rabbit ears and find the first X below and start taking the pressure, the length off the rabbit ears and bring them back into the corset one by one, one by one and then work up, up, up and then so there's no pressure anymore on the front and then we unhook and start all over again. That's how to tie a corset on your own.